What is up, guys? Gabo Saturno here. What are you doing, bro? You're taking much, too much space, bro. You're, you're way too small, man. You're Sorry, just give me some space. <laughs> <laughs> what is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. So today, I am with the best himself, an amazing person, super knowledgeable and respected in the calisthenics community and fitness community in general, Daniel Wagner from Fitness FAQs. And today, we're going to... We are going to do an absolutely crazy bicep, tricep, arm routine created by the mad scientist Gabo himself. Exercise from a variety of angles, exercise types, everything you need to get bigger arms. Let's go. All right guys, so let's begin. So we're gonna begin with a super set of triceps and then biceps. For the tricep one, we're gonna be doing impossible dips, assisted impossible dips, and we're gonna combine that with one of his favorite exercises that actually, the pelican curl on the rings. He's gonna go first, show one set, and then I'm gonna go after him. So you ready for that? Let's go, man. Let's go. We're going for a tempo of Two, one, two, one. Meaning that in simple terms, you do two seconds eccentric, two seconds concentric, and then you do a pause at the bottom and a pause at the top. Find an, an intensity that allows you to go for four to seven reps. Good. Now, two seconds coming up. One, two, good. Oh, yeah. Now, one, two, good. Now push it up. One, two, nice. One second pause. Good. And as you can see, his shoulders need to be aligned with his elbow. Ideally behind, but we are both working towards impossible this. I don't think we work it at all. Yeah, nice. Give me one more, give me one more. Yeah, go on you got more. this, you got this, you got this. So lean back. At the same time, you're pushing, you're leaning back, leaning back, leaning back. There you go. Nice. And control that eccentric, which is what gives you the the power mass. So wh whoever tells you you cannot build arms with body weight, I think it's wrong. Has to try the impossible No breaks. Go no. right here. Oh, no, right. This is a super okay. set. This All is right, a super man. set. So we're Let's doing a pelican curls. Yes. So I'll face this way. Yeah. So All for right. this one, find the, le the lever that allows you to go again for four to seven reps. We're going towards the strength, but a little bit higher. It's not three to five, but four to seven. Nice, look at those biceps, dude. Oof. Yeah, so you wanna extend completely and the tempo is gonna be the same. So two, one, one second hold, extend completely. Now two concentric, one, Oof. two, <laughs> good. Then one, two, one second pause. Now one, two, good, one second pause. Set yourself, you wanna keep everything tight. Even though we're focusing on the biceps, there is no way to really isolate anything. Uh. Body weight. Come on, brother. I lost count, but I know he's in the this right, the right rep range. That's the right intensity he's looking for. Good, 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 good. Right, nice. So I thought you were gonna go for one more. <laughs> that was six. So I think in that situation, playing with the distance your feet are is, is crucial because Absolutely. From one rep to the next, you saw it just went extremely, extremely hard. Exactly. So. And if you find it like, way too hard on the third one, it's nothing wrong with like modified to it. Like don't stick to that rep range yeah. and you're only gonna get like one or two. It's better that yeah. you modify it as you go. And little things of making it harder, like Gabba corrected me on the, the full range of motion. That, that little bit extra, the pause. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh, yeah, I feel that just from six reps. Awesome. Now my turn and you give some more tips to the audience. Oof. Impossible dips. If you're gonna do impossible dips, uh, just work on negative. Or, I mean, this is assisted anyways. Work on negative portion. Or I'll, I'll have another modification. Oh yeah, my hands are over here. I just wanna sit down and relax. <laughs> <laughs> no relaxing, just working. Scene. Ah, okay. So if you're doing this with partners, keep each other honest, don't touch my hand. Yeah, oh. good. that's the difference, yeah. Don't touch my hand. So when you're spotting the person, keep your hand at wrist level. That's gonna mean they're not gonna go forward. Come on, man, let's go. That's a lot of forward oh. Come on, strict. Let me do one more. Eccentric. 
One more. No forward, no forward, no forward. Come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you feel that, huh? Yeah, That's them. Yeah. Woo. All right, come on. Over here. There we go. Let's get those biceps happening. All right, so this is one of your favorite exercises. So cue me, cue me well. Keep those elbows tucked in nice and close. Full range of motion, pause, bang, up from there. Good. Ooh. Try and keep your hips in extension. Pause, go. Yes, that's a better round. Ooh. Ooh, got tough. Yes, to modify it's intensity tough. a little bit. Very quickly. Especially if you pass it pause. right here. Yeah. What you might find helpful watching at home is try and have a false grip. Try and keep a false grip. Okay. Because you shorten the lever at the bottom, it gives uh -huh. you more mechanical advantage. Okay, let's try that. There we go, look at that, nice, nice. There one more in the tank. Let's, make it. Yeah, Let's try no, to make it, more. Come on. maybe do the negative harder. And then, you know, the positive. So many ways to make Ooh. it harder. Yeah. Yes. Not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. What have we got next? What have we got next? We've got a... Um... All right, so they want to do actually four sets of those. We're just only going to do one for the sake of keeping this video short. Next one, we got headbangers and... Diamond push-ups after Explosive, that. exactly. So here we're working on the type two muscle fibers. Yeah. So fast doesn't mean on control. So just go at a steady pace, but be explosive on both the eccentric yes. will be this one and the concentric. And what we were discussing before was you're trying to keep your elbow and shoulder relatively in the same position. So from here okay. to here to here. So the shoulder is always so up. Not dropping down and up is exactly. what we're trying to do. Perfect. One, anything or tip? Oh, keep your hands slightly wider okay. than your elbows. Yep. That way you create external rotation. And if you see your bicep, as you turn a little bit to the Outside. You're getting a bit more supination. Exactly. You get that little peak. It is mostly focusing on the short head, the inner head. So we'll do it here, huh? How many reps are we going for? Give me 10 seconds to breathe. 10? I yes. don't know, that's a bit much. That's a long time on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so how many reps? Uh, I would say we're doing three sets. So on the first and second set, uh, allow them to go two or three set a uh, short from failure. Yes. And then on the last one, completely failure. This is mostly for hypertrophy, so we're gonna be sore tomorrow. We're gonna be sore tomorrow. All right, so we're looking for a quality, maybe eight to 12? Eight to 12, perfect okay. number. As a good number to go for. Exactly. All right. Here, yeah. up, 90 degree, let's go. And Woo! Nice. If you want to make it harder, just extend more. Put some ankle weight. Yeah. Put a weight belt. Higher like reps, higher. try and do it slower. It's just brutal. Exactly. The way to do it. Yes. yes. Here we're targeting like being explosive, but you can modify that exercise and work explosive and just hold it there if you can. <laughs> Too much break. It's a super set, so explosive diamond push ups. You can leave the, leave the ground or just be as explosive on the concentric part. Let's go down. Two more. Two more. One more. One more. <laughs> oh, you killed me the there. The answer is always, <laughs> always one more. <laughs> yes, that threshold rep is what makes you stronger. Good, now that was good. Ooh. So, doing that in a superset fashion mm -hmm. when you're actually following it in the routine is good because it's efficient. We're doing antagonist supersets. We're doing exactly. bicep, tricep. So, mm -hmm. if we were doing this now, how long will we rest? less than, I would say less than 90 seconds. So between 60 to 90, but if you can go between 30 to 60 seconds and you're ready, go ahead and do it. Because like he said, and like your bicep, 
is not resting 60 seconds, he's resting yes. double that, because one set of these is actually around 40 to 60 seconds. Yes, so perfect for people that are using that time excuse, I can't train because of time. You can find a way to make it make it work and exactly. get awesome results. You get, well. the, you get the same volume, short period of time, and you get your breath out of it. <laughs> I like it, man. I like the combination. That's good. Next one, we got two-way ring curls uh, on the rings, and then we got two-way skull crushers on the rings. Do you remember that one? I do. Nice. Okay. For this one. Regular ring curls coming up, and then it's going to pronation. So supination, then go to neutral, actually, and from neutral, go to pronation. Nice. Supination, pronation. Try to keep those elbows in, to focus more on the brachialis. If you're doing that, that's another amazing exercise, face pulls. But here we're really trying to get those guns fired up. Nice. Give me one more. One more of each? Yes. Here we're looking for six to eight on each position, which is kind of a lot of volume. And again, well, tricep right away. Oh yeah, rest twice. <laughs> what is resting? So here we're working elbows in the entire time. First position is like bring your, get closer towards the rings. Yes. Yeah. Right, yeah. And push. And then the second one will be getting a little, a more stretch on your long head. So I think, wait a second. The rings are way too high for this one. So can you lower just one bit? This guy is way too tall. Oh no, even though, like, what did you put if, it on? If, it's, if it's not good for you, for me, it's even gonna be even lower. No, two lower, two more lower. Nine? Uh, one more. What are we, oh, one yeah, more. Yeah, one more, yeah. All right. All right. And now you can go. Now you the, just want the me to first do one, more reps? No, no, now the first one, I want you to keep right here, like a regular tricep extension, yes. so we focus on basically the entire tricep, but then I want you to do the overhead one. Uh, so, no, so we no get a change. deeper stretch on the long head of the tricep. So here? Yes. Here to? To there, yes. Nice. Nice. On the first one, try to lean a little more forward and bring your elbows back. Yes, yes. And on the second one, get a deeper stretch on that long head. Good, that's the first one. Now lean, lean, open, 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 open. Good, 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 yes. Those elbows in the entire time. You see us, his pelvis is positively tilted, he's keeping everything engaged. Even though we're isometrically, uh, isometrically. even though we're working on our biceps, you wanna be isometrically engaging your entire body. Yeah, bro, nice. How do you feel? Pretty good. good, I like it, yeah. Nice. It's a good combination of on tension, on stretch, exactly. tension, on stretch. stretch. Exactly, Nice. And here, like you say, they should rest 30 to 60 seconds max, just because the set are longer, so the bicep is getting a lot of rest. For sure. Between. So for here. So as far as mm -hmm. technique with this one, mm -hmm. Gabo is both lifting the shoulder and flexing the elbow, because that combined motion is really going to get full activation of that bicep. You'll feel it. Try the difference, <laughs> you'll feel it. Nice, keep the rings tucked in like you said on that one. Good man, good, good, good. If you need to modify this one at any point, feet further away is more challenging. And this, one this is way really is a little bit easier. Harder. Yeah. The last two reps. Oh. Nice man, nice, nice, Ooh. nice, nice, nice. Uh, Strand to triceps, like you said. Antagonist supersets. Antagonist supersets. Everyone wants to talk about the theory, but are they putting in the work? <laughs> Gabo is, let's go. Stretch. Ooh, nice. Nice, man. 
Keep those elbows tucked in. Don't let them flare, especially at the bottom. This one, elbows in, elbows in, elbows in. That's it. Ugh. Good, man. One more. Good. Rely on the triceps, not the shoulder. Come on, you got this, man. Tight, tight stomach, tight stomach, tight stomach, push. Ugh. Woo! Good job, good job. I'm only hard today. <laughs> good job. Good job, brother. Yeah. So next one. Yes, yes, yes. So as you catch your breath, just to, just to summarize that again, because we're trying to do more of a muscle building or hypertrophy approach, we're doing a moderate to higher reps. It's an easier way to get that mm -hmm. time under tension. Cool. And for everything, shorter rest periods. Absolutely. So maximum of 90 seconds, 60 to 90 seconds is perfect. But if you're training strength, you'd be resting upwards of, yeah, two minutes, Three minutes, three even minutes. four or five minutes, depending exactly. on what you If do. you do that right now, since we're working, like we said, the antagonist and uh, muscles, yeah. uh, if you rest two minutes, it'll be like three or four minutes. So yeah, it's, it's, it's too much for the intensity that we're looking for in Correct. terms of yeah, doing the time under tension, exactly. bodybuilding style training. Besides, you guys are not talking while doing the exercise, so you guys got it. Yeah. <laughs> So next up, I believe we're going to be doing some isometrics, isometrics combined with eccentrics. So yes. if you've done the workout in its entirety, then you get to this point, mm -hmm. you'll want to be jumping to the top because you'll be quite tired. Yeah, like the concentric right now of a chin-up, I'll probably get like two, three, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go one, three. So we're going to be doing a chin-up hole. We're going to hold for five seconds here, then no, five seconds at the maximum contraction. Yep. Five seconds at 90 degree angle. Then relax. Then relax. Then you jump back up. Five seconds. Five seconds. Yep. And then repeat. And for the tricep one, we'll show you over here. So let's use a box to jump on this one. We're going to set it up both for the pulling yep. exercise that we're doing and for the pushing that we're doing. Let me take this out of the way. So once again, super setting biceps, triceps. The workout starts with the hardest movements first when you're fresh, obviously. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to get onto the more, the basic stuff. But basic is still difficult at this point because like we said, you'll be, you'll be tired after all that volume, all those sets and all those reps. And playing with tempo. So with tempo, yeah. if it's too easy, just do it slower. All right, you ready, brother? Let's go, sure. All right, so let's do the chin up one, then you guys will be able to see the... Let's show the people one. three quality reps, three. Okay, so instead of two? We gotta do three, come on. All right, let's go. Right. So your top. hands are slightly wider. We create that external rotation one more time. Sure, ready, set, set and go. Five, four, three, squeeze hard, two, one. Head at the top of the bar. Five, four, three, two, one. Control, hang, and repeat. It's gotta get straight into it, Five, four, Five, four, three, two, one. Extend, lengthen that muscle. Go again. Rip. And Work your grip as well. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, two one. one. Relax. Ah. Super setting with that. Some isometric for our triceps. So what we're working on here is the tricep dip. You're probably looking at this, you're like, oh, this is a really easy exercise. At the end of the routine, no. Mm -hmm. And if you make the modifications and the mental cues, we're gonna show you. So tricep, elbow extension, obviously. It also does shoulder extension. That's the position we're gonna get in. For sure. Okay. So we're gonna use supination grip. Yep. The further One. out you go, the more shoulder extension you're in. So. Mm -hmm. That's the progression. Keep those hips extended as well. Squeeze the triceps hard at the top. Open through the chest. Yeah. Engage more of the triceps. Go down. And come down. Five and five, yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Push up. Hips forward, lean forward. Five, four, three, two, one. Come down. Feeling that stretch through your bicep yeah. as well. <laughs> For sure. Five, four, three, two, one. One more, push out. Mainly you're gonna break, open through the shoulder. We're gonna break the bar. Lower down. Then five. Stay on tension. Four. On tension. Yeah, it's not completely down, but keep pushing the bar. And up, cold. And up. We're doing four now. All right. 
Was that it or? <laughs> I think that was it. <laughs> Make it stop. You're making four. Uh, You're getting excited. <laughs> sweet. So resting, repeating, and. Yeah, they're looking for three to four sets on this particular exercise. So that's too easy. Go for 10 second hold, 10 second hold yes. instead of five, and five. So this last one that Gabo came up with, this routine, as I said, he's the mad scientist. He came up with <laughs> this crazy supersets. Just yes, these tricks and killing it up. You've saved the best one for last, which is for biceps. Oh, correctly. Yes. No, but we're gonna do bicep first and then we got another one for triceps. So you forgot. Ah, right, right. So yes. what's, the, um, what's the bicep one? The bicep one, we're gonna be, I got this actually from bodybuilding techniques where you do concentrated curls yep. and you do as many as you can on one side, then you go to the other side, then you keep dropping the weight yep, yep. and you keep going until you die. We're doing the same here, sure. but instead of changing the weight, like you said, lever is like basically everything that changes. It's one of the most common variables to make the exercise harder or easier. Yep. So as you get tired on the negative, then you can begin increasing the, the lever. We're looking for a intensity that doesn't allow you to do the positive. So I try here and I can do the positive of a ring curl. I'm gonna find one that I cannot do it. This is hard. Like this is, is impossible for me to do it. So I'm gonna help myself up, keep my elbow in place and just work. So even that I'd take one small step back just so you can pause at the peak. Yeah, yeah, that's what's actually like way too intense this. for me. We're looking for two to three reps on each side, then move on to the next one. No rest in between sides. Three sets. So this one, we are actually going to do the three sets. So for this one, for those of you watching at home, that means starting more underneath the ring mm -hmm. is challenging. And then the further away you go, as you drop in the set, that's how we do yeah, it. Absolutely. So this one, let's not begin too, too intense. <laughs> Use the left one first. Yeah, sure. All right. So three, two, one. Pull it up, four seconds, at least. Pull back up. Extend completely, one more. Switch your arms. How are you going over there, Way bro? Way too hard for me. Bad idea. <laughs> so we're doing three again. Huh? Three again, yes. Everyone wants to build muscle. Uh, Time under tension, let's go, one more. It's all it matters, at least in hypertrophy. Not the only thing. <laughs> All right, so the triceps super yes. set? Yes. All right. So here are two sets. You guys should do between three or four sets. Just an accumulation of 12 reps in total. So it's all people through what we're about to do now. He had the fun idea of doing a triple drop set for the triceps. Correct. So we're going to start in an overhead position, push up position, knees. Follow us, do it yourself, and really get some growth in these, in these yeah. bad boys. Failure on each position. Oh, you actually want failure? I mean, I want, yeah, for them. Yes, for us that we are doing a video, a structural video. Yeah. But so I mean, it's the last one, so we can... Let's face kind of this way, I guess. Yeah, so for the jumper. <sighs> Let me get this mic out. Yeah, fix it up. I don't want anything stopping me. You, you know? can take your time. I'm still catching my breath from the first exercise. No, nah, no, nah, we're going. <laughs> let's keep it real for the people. Come on. All right, let's go. So I'm shoulder with the board. You get into a pike. From here. Push it up. They're losing the entire time. Uh. 
and slow. Anyway. Oh, fuck, I can keep going, but let's show the people <laughs> some variety. <laughs> this is still yeah. gonna be hard. Yeah. Right, let's go. Now, to make it harder, flip over. That way you can actually reach the As you start fatiguing, walk your feet back. All right. One more. Oh, he's doing for two more. All right. I'm going to do the knees. It's funny when you're in such an easier progression. And we're strong. And, and your arms doesn't move. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're strong, man. We're this, strong. Don't worry. This is absolutely metabolic stress to its maximum. If you do this routine and you're not sore tomorrow, you can sue my YouTube channel. <laughs> Disclaimer, you cannot. I'm gonna call it there. <laughs> Plank hole. <laughs> Yo, look at that, bro. I'm drained. Oh, I'm drained. Good work. By my own workout. We've just dirty your gym. Damn, look at those guys, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. so how do we wrap this one up? Okay, first let me catch my breath. Yes, so supersets, so, biceps, triceps, exactly. low rest periods, high reps. Push yourself. You're going to get that pump. You're going to feel that. It's part of this Intensity. process. Intensity. I mean, we give you numbers, we give you reps. But at the end of the day, your body only understands intensity. It doesn't know how many numbers you are actually doing yes. on a single exercise. Intensity is the language of your body and you need to use this as so. I mean, eight to 12 reps of a overhead tricep extension with body weight, if you're fatiguing at that point, yes. is similar to with a barbell. Exactly, or but you, you, you mentioned a, a key point, fatiguing at that point. Yes. It's not that you can do 12 and then you can get to 20. That's you it. didn't choose the right intensity yes. for your particular level. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, this is a video straight from the Academy. So, for more videos like this and for the full routine, the tempo, reps, and a bunch of other more information, you can click the link down below and subscribe. Also, subscribe to this amazing person uh, YouTube channel. All it is going to be linked down below. Subscribe to the channel, like, share, all that stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. See you guys. Bye. Bye.